Alright guys, so you'll see me in this exact <laughs> setup and everything on Wednesday's video. It's going to be a fun vlog of my weekend, but I definitely started editing this video of my tiny filming setup and I definitely didn't film an intro and I don't really know what happened, but I thought you would need it. So <laughs> here's my super tiny filming setup that I used to have in my apartment before I moved into this house. Into this house. If you enjoy the video, please leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow me on Instagram. I always have it linked down below. And I think that's pretty much it. Hello if you're new to my channel. And of course, hello if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you guys so much. And have fun watching the video. So this is what my bedroom looks like. Here's from the door. It is super small and Ellie is clearly in here with us still. Don't mind that. It's from where we're packing. And <laughs> look at the amount of boxes we have just piled up in places. But this is my room. There's the background you see most often except I have the stuff off the walls up there. And I'm sure you guys can normally see my nightstand with my little empty trash can on it. So if we come over here, I have my lights on. I'm actually going to turn them. No, I'm not because the light would be terrible. But this is where I film. I don't have my vanity put up because my room is kind of small. I just sit on this little bench at the end of my bed. Here is all my makeup. It's not staying in that. I actually have a video coming of me organizing my makeup in new in a new drawer set but this is on wheels so I literally just hoy, it's heavy as hell I normally just wheel it over and I'm setting normally right there that is what I'm looking at and then once again that is what you're normally looking at so I am going to turn these off so I don't kill you so this is what I see when I film. I just have a small mirror and then obviously you guys are on the tripod. This is not normally here. That's painting stuff and that's my camera case but this is where I normally set and film. I always have a drink. My jewel is normally always up here. My little holder for my sponge and then like I said I normally just open these up like boom get what I need and then I close it back up um these lights are let me turn them back on for a second these lights are pretty bright when they're on I think I have pretty decent lighting it could definitely be better I know my audio oh god I don't even want to discuss my audio I know it's bad um but I just have these lights these are just LED lights desk lamps or whatever and they are let me turn this one off they are movable which is why sometimes in my videos you see me kind of arching it over like that um I, this is just a con air mirror from walmart and i have it setting up on my jewelry box i normally don't but i noticed in one of my videos i was ducking down out of view to look in my mirror <sighs> i'm already out of breath <laughs> um i just have these plugged into an extension cord down there and I normally go ahead and lay out some of the products I'm going to use over here and then like I said I just which my bathroom is right there so it's not that big of a deal for me to get up and go in there if I need to like wet a sponge or something like that um I don't want to do like a full like rundown of this but I am gonna like quickly run through each drawers these are the brushes that I use most often they're just in a milk glass container and I have two of them uh, those are the ones I use most often these are ones I don't use near as much back there is just kinda overflow some tools um, there's random sponges out everywhere this powder has no home like I said I'm, I have new drawers that I'm gonna put together in the new house um, just because I've outgrown these I'm sure you saw probably not there's makeup like thrown back there but and a bag of makeup this top drawer <laughs> I, I try to keep it organized, but it doesn't always work out in my favor. Um, let me get some light on you guys. 
so maybe you can see a little bit better. So this top drawer has, these are like baby primers. I have um, baby primers. I have concealers, contour sticks. That's pretty much it. And then these are overflow of primers. Sorry, I dropped the camera. These are just overflow of prim primers and some of my favorite foundations. I just got done filming my April favorite, so you'll see most of these products. Oh, I also have two setting sprays up there, but <laughs> I have nowhere else to put them. These are other foundations. There's two primers in here. Yeah, there's just two primers in here. Um, these are some foundations that I want to test out that I've used before and just don't want to let go. Like, I know you guys have seen that video. A mixing foundation. And then this drawer, oh god, this drawer is crazy. Oh, that broke. Why is that broken? Okay, well, that's broken. This back part is blushes and some highlights. Mainly blushes, though, but blushes, a few bronzers. This front part, of course, I don't always have it pulled out like that. It's normally like this, so this is what I use most often. A few of my favorite blushes, a few favorite highlights, my bronzer I'm using right now, extra face powders, stuff like this. And this is not all my makeup. Most of my daily makeup is over there in that bag. This is a weird eye drawer. <laughs> um... These are some eyeliners and eyebrow products back here. Anastasia. Uh, what is this? What is this? L'Oreal Deep Brunette Brow Stylist. Um, the, what is this? A Rimmel Gel. What is this? A Rimmel Gel Liner. Um, these are, and a random Wet n Wild palette. These are more liners and brow products I use more often. That is not in the right spot. These are my mascaras I have right now. And then these are random single eyeshadows. I know this is insane. <laughs> Here are some palettes. I try to keep what I use in the front, obviously, and obviously the like my favorite. Okay, sorry. I'll cut that out. This is a lip drawer. I'm actually going to scoot some of these back, so maybe this will close. Um, in the back, I have lipsticks that I don't use that often. In here, I used to have these organized by like pink snoods, red, stuff like that. Like I said, I'm reorganizing it all, but some Maybelline, um, what is that, Elf, Nyx, there's Clinique way down there, and then this front is obviously what I use the most. I have my one MAC lipstick. Lots, most of these are variations of the exact same color, pinky nudes, and then these like deep rusty reds. Second, so second, okay. <laughs> In here, I have these are just like backups of my favorite foundations, and then some samples. I have an extra moisturizer. This stupid freaking thing. I can't believe I actually got this. Um, the Vamp Stamp. Terrible, terrible invention. I have some tea tree oil, some pan cream, and just a spray water. I have two, those travel toothpastes in here, some extra hair ties, and some setting sprays, and a primer. Oh, hold up. That's a serum, girl. This is, oh no. <laughs> These are lashes, mainly. Yeah. Those are all lashes. Back here are some more samples and some nursing scissors. These are palettes. This is like way OG. How you doing? Um, a random headband I wear sometimes when I do my makeup. Just random stuff. And then this bottom one is a random hair color I have, some trash bags for my trash can, an extra container, and then, let me hold it up on my foot, and then more palettes, and then a sheet mask, an extra mirror, and my Z palette is down there. Whew! Your girl's out of breath. So, am I focused? Not really. So, 
this is where I film for right now. Like I said, we're moving this weekend, so it won't be like this for very much longer at all. I am super fortunate that I don't have to pack these. I can literally just take some medical tape and tape down the front of it, and they're fine. I just have to put these probably in like a basket or something and put it in the front seat of my car. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I have that giant mirror and I should logically have it right here, but when I was pregnant with my daughter I would sit on the edge of my bed and that is where I wanted that mirror hung up. The mirror is hella heavy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to show you guys that you don't have to have a ton of space. You don't have to have crazy umbrella lights or anything like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, the camera I use is a Samsung Full HD. Hold up. Let me see. Okay, it's a Samsung Ep CMOS. I don't even know what that is. This is a really not a, this is an older camera though I do plan on upgrading and if you guys would leave me your comments down below I'm trying to decide this between the Canon Rebel and the Canon G7X. So if you could help me that'd be cool and also we're not even going to discuss where the front of this eyebrow is. We had a little bit of a boo-boo <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to hit 50 subscribers, and when we hit 100, I'll have a giveaway at 50 subscribers, so I'm going to have a really cool video going up. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry if the footage is hella shaky. I don't have steady hands. <laughs> I know 